Joe Biden's own summit on climate change involving 40 world leaders, Biden invites the world's biggest polluter, China. And what does China do? Exploit the whole event. While Biden, mask and all, is asleep at the wheel, he gets schooled by China. Instead of focusing on climate, right, what do you think China takes the opportunity to do? They go full-on infomercial, promoting its, quote, Belt and Road Initiative, or commonly known as its Loan Shark Program. China will promote joint efforts to build a green Belt and Road to benefit the people of all countries. I am confident that as long as we unite in our purposes and efforts, we will rise above the global climate and environment challenges. Oh, boy. All right. So this so-called initiative is actually a debt trap where China offers predatory loans to developing countries. Of course, China claims these loans come with no political strings attached. Only a fool would believe that. So at Biden's own climate change event, China ignores the theme and continues its quest to colonize poorer countries. Well, joining me now is former U.S. ambassador to Germany and former acting director of national intelligence for President Trump. Rick Grinnell is with us, also with us, former Trump deputy national security advisor and author of the book, Revolution, Trump, Washington, and We the People. KT McFarland is here. Rick, KT, great to see you both. Great to Thanks be with both of you. So, KT, let me start with you. Why is Joe Biden even inviting China to a climate event? Look, I think that the Democrat Party has been taken over by some radical zealots. And for them, their religion is climate change. And they're so, they're crazed. And, and they don't really listen to sort of looking at the facts of, like all zealots do. And so for them, having a climate change summit, having the Chinese come and make very vague promises for 40 years in the future of the things they're going to do, that was good enough for them. And the problem was, though, that the United States is now committed to a program that's going to bankrupt us. And even if we instituted it, it's going to, it's going to cost American jobs. It's going to cost American energy jobs. And even if it all were true, even if the United States stopped doing any energy period, any fossil fuel energy, no coal, no oil, no natural gas, it would be a drop in the bucket because China is such a great polluter. I mean, you know, double what we are doing for emissions, and they have no intention of stopping. And they've made it very clear they have no intention of stopping until at some point distantly in the future. Yeah, you know, Rick, I think this really is symbolic, what happened today, of how China thinks about Joe Biden and his leadership. I mean, they exploit the, the, this climate change summit to sell their, their loan program here. Um, but really, it shows just how weak they think Joe Biden is, doesn't it? Yeah, for sure. Look, this is failed diplomacy because, remember, they sent John Kerry to China earlier to try to get some sort of concessions on climate change, and the Chinese told them, go pound sand. Uh, they didn't do a thing. And the surprise is, is that we're in this position again because that's what China always does, is they are not going to lower their CO2. It's increasing. And you look at what the Trump administration was uh, able to do, which is to lower the CO2 while at the same time really exploding the energy, the LNG gas, clean energy, um, uh, ability to export. We, we used to import energy, and now we're in a position of being an exporter of energy. That's phenomenal. That's a transformational uh, part of our economy. And so I, I think when the Chinese spin the Belt and Road Initiative to the rest of the world today, it's an admission that they have nothing to say about climate change. And it's also an admission that the Belt and Road initiative is in real bad shape. People know, other countries know, that it's a, a phony system. It's a phony initiative, and they've been on the receiving end of, of lots of uh, visas from Chinese builders, and then they're stuck with the bill later on for the infrastructure projects. All right, let me play a soundbite of Xi Jinping um, that really is pretty absurd. I think it proves that he's laughing at us. Let's roll, let's roll this first one. We need to deliver social equity and justice in the cause of green transition 
and increase people's sense of benefit, happiness, and security. KT, social justice. I mean, they've got Uyghurs enslaved, and he's talking about social justice, I guess because they know it's the talking point here in the United States. Yeah, and that's exactly what they're doing. And the timing of this is really fascinating. This morning, I participated in a webinar, a Zoom webinar, with the Chinese foreign minister, and he talked about this. He basically said, um, America, Taiwan, Hong Kong, and the Uyghurs in Xinjiang province in China, those are internal Chinese matters. We have one China. This is our domestic business. You keep your nose out of it. And then he said something quite interesting. He said, did all the talking points about how great China's going to be, Green New Deal, climate change, all the rest. But he said, if you want to have progress on climate change and Chinese cooperation, you better stop talking about Taiwan, Hong Kong, and the Uyghurs. So not only have they cowed us into a, a very disadvantageous position vis-a-vis -vis climate change and the actions that we're going to take, they now expect us to extract political capital from it as well. I think it was all very carefully timed. Xi Jinping two days ago, uh, the Chinese foreign minister today. Who knows what's next? Who knows what's next? Well, uh, Rick, KT, it's great to have you both on the program. Rick, two questions for you next time we panel. I promise you. Thank you guys for coming on tonight. Have yourself a great weekend. Thank you. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.